we have something that I honestly, I mean, don't even know how to go about talking about. This has really thrown me for a loop. Now, as we have been talking about for weeks now at this point, Discovery Channel is done with Street Outlaws. Discovery Channel said and done. Street Outlaws is going on to do their own thing. Dana White is acquiring Street Outlaws, and he's going to go on to do their own thing in the future. As we currently sit right now, everything we're seeing for Street Outlaws is live, and there is no more TV show. There's all this drama with Season 6 of No Prep Kings airing on Discovery Channel. Discovery Channel apparently bought Season 6, but is refusing to air it as we currently speak. Nobody on the Street Outlaw or Pilgrim side of things seems to have absolutely any idea as to when it will air. The ball is in Discovery Channel's court for that, and as we are currently aware, there is no deal for there to be Season 7 of No Prep Kings on TV. Like, Season 6 of No Prep Kings, if it airs, will be the final show for Street Outlaws on Discovery Channel. But then Chuck's come out and said that Street Outlaws and Discovery Channel aren't done. Which has massively confused me with all this stuff we've had going on recently. Now, this isn't from like some post he made saying like, Hey everyone, Discovery Channel isn't done. No, this comes from him replying to some comments on Facebook. And I'm going to read these comments to you right now. The, and it's from two different comments from two different people. Now, or he's replying to do from two different people, I should say. This first one is from Chuck. He said, TV is becoming extinct. So this year is a transformation year. Next year, they will be ahead of the game and will be off the hook. And you'll be able to watch it on your phone, your iPad, your TV, your laptop, or the screen in your car. Now, what he's saying right there, I assume is getting at the live stream aspect of it where you can watch it on pretty much any device. But like, realistically, you could have done that in the first place with Discovery Go. But I will admit, like, kind of siding with Chuck right here, Discovery Go absolutely sucked. It was an atrocious streaming platform. YouTube is the best streaming platform in the world. Like, that's the best app to watch stuff on. That's literally all it's for. It's not some TV network trying to make a streaming platform. YouTube is videos on the internet. That's the key to it all. It's the beginning, the uh, origin, the foundation of it all. So them streaming on YouTube is the best possible way to make it so as many people can access it as possible. You don't have to worry about having cable having TV network, having access to TV network, having even power to your house. As long as you've got um, some sort of cellular connection on a phone with a YouTube app or a browser of some sort, you can access the live streams to the Street Outlaws races. So I agree 100% with Chuck right there. But then this next comment right here from him is... This is not what you're going to see. They will have the best, and I believe it will be amazing, and others will follow suit. Discovery is working on their financials, so this season they only had like two weeks notice to throw together a live feed and make it better. Every week, so what you seeing is not going to be what you're going to get. Sorry, the grammar isn't the best. That's why it sounded weird when I was reading that. But what Chuck was saying is, he's saying Discovery had only a couple weeks notice for the do having to do the live streaming rather than filming a TV show. Now, I think in this situation here, he misspoke. I think he meant to say Pilgrim rather than Discovery Channel. Because we look to the first comment, he's saying TV is becoming extinct. Well, Discovery Channel isn't like, if you're part of Discovery Channel, you're part of TV. So with him saying Discovery Channel is going extinct, like, or TV is going extinct, I think that means the Street Outlaws and Discovery Channel relationship is going extinct as well. Then we look at him saying here, Discovery's working on their financials, so this season they only had like two weeks notice to throw together a live. I think he means Pilgrim there, because that would make a lot more sense. Pilgrim is working on their financials, so this season they only had like two weeks notice to throw together a live because Discovery aren't putting together a live stream right now. Pilgrim are the ones putting together a live stream. So I think that's Chuck just misspeaking. Or maybe he misunderstood it. I, I, like, I don't want to say, people are going to say, you idiot, Chuck's the one that came up with no prep kings. How would he misunderstand what he's, what's going on here? Like, I think he misspoke there. I don't think he means to say Discovery Channel. I think he means to say Pilgrim Studios in that situation because as it seems right now, like they're done with Discovery Channel. If Dana White's coming in, why, does, why would Dana White ever want to work with Discovery Channel with how Discovery Channel is treating Street Outlaws right now, when he can go do something bigger than the entirety of Discovery Channel, potentially, with the cal capabilities and the caliber of the stuff Dana White has done in the past. Like, I don't think they're going to do anything with Discovery Channel for the, for, I was going to say foreseeable future, but the future forever. They're never going back to Discovery Channel. I think you meant to say Pilgrim Studios right there, and I'm pretty sure, like, Discovery Channel and Street Outlaws is said and done. There will be no further actions with that relationship whatsoever.